What are you doing this morning? Another day, another boat job. It's been 110 hours, maybe. I think more like 150. No. It's the third one this season. How often do you do an oil change? We have to change the oil every 100 hours because the engine's not of the newer kind. What do you use to do it? Uh, well, we saw some YouTube videos of a guy who like has this little hand pump and he just pump, 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 pump for half an hour. And he says, it's easy. You don't have to have the stuff. Well, we have the stuff. We have this vacuum pump, so we only need to pump it for maybe two minutes. Physics does the rest for us and uh, I don't have to have muscles, which is good because I don't have them. So that's a lifesaver. The only messy part is actually changing the filter because that one is attached horizontally and uh, it's filled with oil. So when I detach it from the engine block, it just starts tripping down. Furthermore, this thing, you just pulled it in the dipstick hole and start pumping. That's actually not that messy, except when you hold it the wrong way and old oil spills on the floor. Oh, baby. <laughs> Good one. Rag, rag. All right, let's do this. All right, there you go. At the bottom. Like so. So you do need those muscles, huh? How much, 20 times? Yeah, maximum of 20 times and then wait. There we go. Black gold. And there it comes. All by itself. And now you wait. It's part of the job. Get paid for their time, right? Did the pressure build up or can you go again? No, it's a lot of pressure on that. It's working. I ran the engine for about 10 minutes to get the oil warm. Oh, did and I? Mandy turned on the engine because she thought she didn't have any battery left. A good moment for you to start changing oil. Have to! Go, Mandy! Can you see it filling up already? Yeah, it's very full already. It's going quick today. It's in there. It's more than last time, actually. That's good, right? It means it so. doesn't really leak anymore. Yeah, it's actually four liters. One, two, three. Next up is a fuel filter. That's the messy part. I'm gonna wrap a plastic bag around my hand and then just unscrew it and try to get it in the bag as quickly as possible. We also put like a little tray on the bottom so we don't get anything in the engine build. And then once that's out, I'm gonna have a look at the connections because I don't know if that one fits. Because we got it from a friend that has another engine. You, you always hand tighten those. You never wrench it because you will not get it off. It will actually start being sucked onto the, onto the motor block. I hope I get that one off because I don't have the wrench. Can't get it off. It's always smart to change your oil in an empty bay. But we have one neighbor. You got one from the neighbors? I did. Nice, the only neighbor we have. Yeah. Not too bad, right? No, it's nice, huh? Yeah, although there's some in the bottom. Does it look like it will fit? I don't know. It's exactly the same, I guess. All let's right. hope for the best. Well, let's see if it works. What are you doing now? All right, so before you put the new filter on, you take some oil and you put it around the gasket. So it seals. So we put it on and then once it grips, half a turn, but not more. Otherwise you can't get it off. Did the, the same other? thing last time and then still <laughs> you couldn't get it off now. Yeah, that's true. All right, there we go. Now half a turn. All right, next up is refilling. Here's the oil cap. Refilling. The five liter canister is a bit cheaper than the small ones because they know, they know it's harder to refill it. But we boat people are very smart. We buy one small one and use it as an intermediate. I think it's already too much. But there'll be some oil going into the oil filter as soon as you start the engine. Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's check it. Yeah, it's a little bit over it. It goes to here. Yeah. But I think that as soon as you turn on the engine, the rest will go in the oil filter and then we check again and it will be fine. Is the oil pressure light still on? Yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. 
the oil pressure light off. Amazed. So now we're just checking for leaks on the oil filter. So we should have seen that up first to see. We're gonna let it idle for maybe a minute. And then we're gonna check oil levels again and see if everything's fine. Give it 20 seconds. Okay. Half a minute. So one thing we need to do next time yeah. is uh, put the oil cap back on before we start the engine. Mm -hmm. Might not be too stupid. <laughs> Alright. Up hope van zegen. Tell me. Yeah. It's still there, so it's under it now and it's super clean. Nice. Good one. You did a good job this time, huh? You did. Good, babe. Actually, we didn't get out as much as we thought. So there's one and a half, two, two and a half liters, and something that's left in the fuel filter. But hey, it's all you can do. I wanted to improve the informational value of this video. So, first of all, don't do this while you're on anchor because if something goes wrong and you lose your oil, you're not able to move anymore. Do it in a slip where you can get spares, get another tool if you need to, and do not rely on neighbors that by chance have their tool on board. Second of all, come prepared. You need a funnel, empty bottles to get rid of your oil, uh, enough oil in the first place. So that would be around five liters for us. So we still have some spare left and a tray to catch up all the oil that spills from the engine block. To do the oil change, you need a few tools. That is the wrench to unscrew the filter. We really recommend the vacuum pump because it honestly is such an easy job. Just pump it 20 times, wait a few minutes, pump it again, wait a few minutes and the whole thing will fill up. On the vacuum pump you have lines that indicate how much oil you pulled out of the engine. Just make sure you get just as much back in otherwise you overflow the system. Run the engine for a few minutes so the oil gets warmer. That makes it more fluid and you have an easier time pulling it out of your dipstick hole. Dipstick hole. Also this was the day where I severely injured my hand because I did not have the tool to unscrew the filter. So I tried to unscrew the thing with both my hands, put too much pressure on my wrist and didn't notice until it was too late. I still have some issues with my hand, so just don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Once you refilled your engine with fresh oil, you close the lid and you run the engine for a few minutes to get the system up and see if you have any leaks in the system and if you screwed on the, the oil filter correctly. If your engine runs smoothly and it doesn't overheat, your job is done. Congratulations. If you want to see more sailing, click here. And if you want to find out where I got this t-shirt, click here. Okay, bye-bye.